Okay, hi everybody, good morning and um, welcome to this first webinar in the Open Air Foster uh, webinar series for Open Access Week. Um, first of all, my, my sincere thanks for uh, going along with us and, and uh, into, uh, into this new format uh, where we will not be giving a traditional webinar. Uh, followed by Q&A, where we, we have asked you to take a look at some uh, training materials and tutorials beforehand. And um, uh, we hope you've brought your questions or your remarks uh, to this session. Um, I will explain in a bit, in a bit how, how we're going to do this practically. So I'm, I'm very happy to have Angelica Voss uh, with us from Athena Research Center, who's going to present the Open Air Funder dashboards and its uh, features and um, well, not present, but talk about the funder dashboard, the features, and, and, and maybe she could also elaborate a bit on the case study that was um, that was uh, mentioned in her tutorial. Um, I see we're not that many people, so maybe it would be interesting if you could indicate in a chat uh, if any of you is actually part of um, a funder organization. I recognize some names, but not all of you. So uh, I, I assume you can all see the chat window and um, if you could, uh, if, okay, yeah, Moitzel, hi. Um, on a very practical level, um, what I would, what, what we're going to do is, so uh, I think Angelica has her screen, uh, her screen ready where she can take you through the, the dashboard as a sort of recap of what was being said in the tutorial. Um, and I would really encourage you to either ask your questions in the chat or uh, use the the, the menti.com um, the menti.com uh, link that we shared. So I'll be monitoring that. Uh, but you can also just use uh, use the chat window here because we're not that uh, we're not that many people. Um, and another advantage of us not being with too many people is that what I would suggest if you, um, if Angelica's ready with her, uh, ready for it, that you can also just um, unmute yourself and say something. Um, well, I mean, I, I think I wouldn't do this if we were 50 people, but as we're only 13 at this point, I think it's doable. So, um, um, Angelica, I'm going to leave the floor to you and, and maybe you can start. And um, after that, if there are any questions, um, yeah, please either ask them um, uh, talking or write them in the chat for the Mentimeter. Enjoy. Hi, thank you, Gwen. Uh, right now, I'm going to share my screen and show you the monitor, the founder monitoring dashboard. And uh, you, you can interrupt me whenever you want in order to ask anything about. Here it is, the monitor.openair.eu, the funder uh, monitoring dashboard, uh, where you can see here a few numbers about the publication, data sets, software, and uh, the total of funders integrated in open air. If you scroll down, you can see several other parts, like uh, if you are a founder or do you know uh, a founder that uh, wants to join us, uh, you, they can click here and find uh, where it directs, it, it directs the openair.eu and you can find here in the number 28 the prerequisites that we ask for founders to provide us. There are some mandatory and other optional requirements, such as project identifier, project title or acronym, funder name, start and end date are the mandatories. 
and the fund string organization recommend acknowledgement and the study year of open access mandate is a few of them the optional uh, but as um, i told in my presentation i as um, i um, the more information provided it would be easier to to have uh, matches uh, during the mining process so let's get back to the monitor and if you scroll down you can see here the funders divided by the jurisdiction the here is the european union and the european funders and the international funders uh, <clears throat> Also, you can click here in the Funders tab, uh, in, or if you prefer this. Uh, clicking so you can um, move in the Austrian Science Fund, the Austrian Funder. We can see, just a moment, please, to a little bit smaller in order to fit in the screen. Um, also, I would like before proceed the uh, proceeding in the, to, to this uh, demonstration, I would like to say that the layout of the portal uh, right now it's not uh, will be changed during the the next days. So uh, the new layout will be more um, like a dashboard, like a to to provide all the stats, all the graphs um, by once. You can look all of the graphs, uh, all of the stats by a glance. So here it is. We can start from uh, the publication by access. As you can see also, we, we provide green and gold publications. You can see uh, publications over time. Here it is all the publications. And um, the green and gold publication. And as we scrolling down, we can see more and more graphs. And if you want to, just a moment, if you want to see only one of these variables, you can click here in the world on the total and if you click both there is no data to display and given that we are working on it just uh, at this moment there is no um there's there isn't a feature to download these graphs with a gray background however there are other graphs Ah, this also is here. If you want to click many variables, you can see all of these results change. And all of these are, are updated in real time. This is also the new feature of this uh, uh, portal. Uh, just a moment to show you something like this. Here it is. Here you can see both bar graph and table. You can see the results in two, um, two ways, and also you can download it in a PNG, JPEG, PDF, or SVG file. So uh, this uh, feature will be added in the other also graphs in the next few days and um, if you want to click another funders you can also click on it and see all of this stuff so um what we are going to add to the to, today or um, tomorrow the latest will be a, an average embargo. Just a moment to see. Yes, 
uh, an underage uh, period of embargo complications. Uh, in order to show what is the period from uh, the first day that they they are published and uh, till uh, their embargo. What is this period? So we are going to provide new stats as well in the next few days. And we are also uh, want to hear you to hear your feedback. Um, if you want to put to make any suggestions about new statistics or you want to provide something new or change something, we are here to hear you and we, we are going to be glad to do something like this to have an interaction with you. So, uh, would you like to ask, uh, to ask something to provide you uh, any information about? Um, if, if nobody's having any questions um, in the chat, oh, okay, there's a question from Moitza, um, who asks, to what extent is the Open Science Monitor of the European Commission using data from, uh, open air, from the Open Air Monitor? Let's see. Uh, what extent is the um, European Commission using? Okay, this is a very, very great, a great question. Um, but if you would like to answer this uh, after discussing it with my colleagues, and I provide you a more concrete answer right now, I know a part of this. Uh, but I would like to discuss it first before to provide any answer with my colleagues, if you allow me. Of course. Yeah, hello. This is Moita. I unmuted myself. I assume that, of course, uh, the Commission is using uh, data uh, collected by Open Air at Open Science Monitor. Uh, I was just wondering if they use it in a way that it is prepared for the monitor, which means with these graphs or tables. Uh, yeah. Okay. Can you please um, repeat? Because I have a a technical problem with the sound. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sure I know that uh, the Commission is using data collected by Open Air, definitely, uh, for Open Science Monitor. Um, I was just wondering if they use it in a form which is shown uh, at the monitor.openair.eu. But I guess I could check this myself if, uh, if I compare what is um, uh, visible at the monitor, open air EU, and at open science uh, monitor. I guess I could do yeah, this even yes. myself. Uh, no, uh, no. Um, they provide, uh, we are in, in a constantly uh, discussion, uh, communication with the, the Commission, European Commission, and um, of course there is uh, the open science monitor, uh, there, there are a few graphs uh, similar to ours, but they are different. And we advise, we, we advise and take uh, a lot of ideas from the Open Science London because we want to be as um, uh, close as possible to these uh, results provided by Open Science Monitor. And uh, uh, we provide statistics that right now that the European Commission asked from us uh, to to show, to display. Um, so maybe uh, there, there is a different or maybe they can be similar, uh, but definitely there is not uh, uh, exactly the similar results. Uh, into this uh, dashboard, the open science monitor and the open air monitor. Uh, both uh, we are in uh, communication. Yeah, exactly the same. Oh, 
Um, wait, and Angelica, I just got a message from Pedro Principe, who was supposed to join, but who's who's delayed the train, <laughs> and he says that he, uh, yeah, he can send some more information as well. So maybe Angelica, you can get in touch with Moita directly. Okay. After uh, after this uh, this session, right? Um, we do have some questions. Um, re we received some questions on the. Um, uh, on Mentimeter, um, Angelica, is it okay if I share my screen for a bit and show it? Of course, of course. Okay, here we go. So these are the four questions that um, that we received until now. So maybe you can take them. Uh, you can ask, uh, deal with them one by one. Okay, yes, I uh, will start from uh, the first uh, box. Uh, how long does it take for a founder to be indexed in uh, open air? Uh, this is not a clear answer. Uh, it depends, actually. For example, um, for example um, if uh, the list of uh, the founder's project looks like um, uh, what we asked for, for example, if uh, all of the information included, project um, uh, one, say again, project identifier, project title, pro funder name, start date, and end date, all of this included in an in Excel, Excel file, uh, then the, the same day um, we we immediately uh, start uh, start running. The, the the funder integration process and uh, in the in this day we answer if everything um, can run uh, as we want to for example uh, we have funder but this uh, this list will be exactly as we asked but there is an issue we can't find uh, any matches because there are different grand ideas, because we have uh, inconsistencies uh, with the grand ideas. But we are we are in communication, and this issue uh, will be resolved. Was, uh, was resolved. So uh, if we don't have any problem uh, problems, um, I assume that within the two months, uh, the maybe earlier, uh, but uh, I can say two months, the, the funder can be indexed in the beta um, uh, explore the beta dot explore dot open air dot EU. And uh, if everything runs uh, like a clock, uh, we can uh, uh, move to the production status. So I assume from uh, this will be take from two or three months if everything runs uh, okay. However, maybe it takes uh, longer, but uh, we are trying to do as uh, fast as possible. So. I can move to the second question. How do you work with uh, new founders? You approach them or they approach you? Uh, this uh, can be uh, can be both. Uh, we approach new founders uh, through the National Open Access Desk, no ones, uh, the Open Air, no ones, um, or they can provide, they can uh, approach us. For example, this uh, also have an example from a uh, European funder and the, from Belgium, uh, more specifically. Uh, they approach us, they want uh, to join us. But uh, we have other funders uh, like France, uh, that we approach them because uh, uh, during the mining process, we we found um, a lot of, uh, of their grand ideas in other projects that we run. And so we ask them if they want to uh, 
um, to an open air. And they, they were positive. So this can be uh, both two ways. Is there any private functionalities in the dashboard available to funders only? And this um, uh, feature, these private functionalities, uh, will be added, will be available actually. Uh, I assume uh, within the next year, the new year 2018 and uh, 19, I'm sorry, um, where we are going to release a new uh, tool, the research statistics tool, uh, which uh, uh, have the, this uh, private functionality. This will be only for private use uh, and uh, they have access only um, the members of uh, the open air uh, using their credentials. But uh, we are going to inform you when this uh, will be released uh, using this uh, um, making a webinar, but, but right now there is no such a functionality. You can communicate with us if you want to ask us to provide any statistical, uh, any new graph, and we are going to. Uh, so, the fourth question, question regarding the underlying data, is the research funder data gathered from publication of the data harvest from repositories registered with OpenAir, or is it harvested directly from funders or other sources? Uh, okay. The data uh, we harvest from everywhere, from repositories, from journals, uh, a great um, sorry, aggregated journals, themas thematic um, repositories, additional repositories. Um, not only. Uh, Yes, uh, it's from uh, register with uh, open air. But uh, if you would like to ask um, my the technical team, the open air technical team, I will answer you in a few seconds actually. Uh, but uh, this is the sources that we use in order to retrieve information. Um, the repositories and the uh, journals, actually. This also, we can distinguish uh, as well, green open access publication and gold uh, access publication. This, uh, so, anyone, uh, okay. would you like to ask anything? Thank you, Angelica. Um, are there any other questions? Um, feel free to just speak up. I think we're, we're really only like 12 or 13 people. So I think this will work. Uh, next to your name in the attendees list, you will see a microphone. And you can just, if you click that, you will unmute yourself. <clears throat> okay, so I think that means that either Angelica, your your presentation is very clear, and um, that there are no questions um, for the questions at this point. Um, Angelica, can you just repeat how people can get in touch with you? Should they contact you directly if they have any questions? Um, yes, uh, I will also uh, write right now my email they can uh, uh, contact me via this email and also uh, mm -hmm. 
Because as, a, as I told you, the under construction actually we update it day by day. Um, so you can find here information in a few days. You can click here and find also my information as well. But right now you can use the email I send you here. Oops, didn't. So this is angelica.cos at emis.tena uh, innovation. Yeah. Okay. Um, angelica, is there anything else you want to share with the audience? Um, for example, if people are in touch with funders, um, is there anything that you want them to do right now? But now we, uh, I don't have something else to show. Uh, that's all. The okay, I'll, I'll stop sharing the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Just to start saying mine. Oh, no. um, yes, I don't, uh, I don't have anything else to show. This is a short, a brief uh, presentation, demonstration of the monitor. Uh, the philosophy I can say is that uh, this monitor, uh, so this monitor, you can see in real time um, all this, uh, all of, of the stats, the graphs are updated daily, and uh, you can see. Angelica, um, you're not sharing your screen. Is that possible? Uh, yes, I have to be a presenter. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, um, if you can see, if you click on some of the options, uh, at, the, at the end of uh, uh, on the page, you can see that last update on 22 of October uh, today, and also this uh, uh, taken from um, uh, this, the open air via higher charts. We're using high charts, and all of these stats are updated daily. So, this is a real time dashboard uh, that you can monitor and Founders investment. So, I'm sorry if I scrolling very fast. And at the end of uh, the page, you can also find other links to open air services, other services. That's all for me. And anything you want to ask? I'm your, I'm your disposal. Anyway. How do those founders or what do you want, what do you want to say? Um, and uh, what are the specific requirements uh, we want and uh, the project list as well? What should that include? That's all for me. Okay. Oh, sorry, I was muted. Okay, thank you very much, Angelica. Um, for the people in the audience, is there anything anything you'd like to add or anything you'd like to ask um, before we close this uh, before we close this uh, session, this Q and A session? 
now would be the time. <laughs> Um, okay, so if, if not, um, this session has been recorded. Um, we will at the end because we will at the end of Open Air Week we will um, we will distribute these recordings and um, the you already have the presentation and the tutorial, so that should okay. Thank you, Garen. That should the tutorial and the information, the fact sheet that, that you already have, you should be able to approach funders um, if you're working with them or, or uh, if you're a funder yourself to, to find all relevant information. And um, again, um, I'll I'll just repaste for the because I saw some people joining later. Uh, I'll repaste Angelica's email address um, in the chat. So if you have any questions, feel free to um, to reach out to her directly or to contact. Uh, us at the, the generic uh, webinars uh, address, which is uh, which is this one. Um, and in any case, thank you very much for uh, for joining this. And please uh, let us know uh, your experience with this uh, with this funder dashboard once it's uh, once it's functioning. So uh, we're very curious about that. Okay, um, thank you very much. I'll close the session right now. Thank you. Thank you for, for your time. Bye-bye.